important angle in molecular geometry of three carbons in cyclohexene. Here I've made just a little structure of cyclohexene. And as with I, the carbons are not drawn in here, and I haven't put the carbons on here yet, just for simplicity. There is our double bond there. It's a cyclic compound. And the hex tells us the number of carbons, just like our geometry class. First thing I want, to, want you to re recognize is that how this thing doesn't lie flat like a dinner plate. This picture is lying to you. It is not flat. It's kind of got a pucker to it. And there's a little bit of a rotation. As you, if you play with this in your hand, you can feel how that's straining the ring when it is flat. But if they just kind of do a little zigzaggy, there's a lot less ring strain on it right there. The bond angle of these three carbons or molecular geometry are very similar. Let's draw hydrogens on this right here. And let's put hydrogens. So I'm going to make sure that I'm, here's my double bond. I'm going to put some hydrogens on carbon A right here. Now, it is bonded four times, this carbon bond, and it, every single bond is a sigma bond. The molecular geometry of this molecule, of this atom, is tetrahedral. Each bond angle is 109 degrees, approximately. That is for this carbon atom here, carbon A. This carbon is sp3 hybridized. Its atomic orbitals, it's 1s and 3 valence orbital, it's 3p valence orbitals are hybridized to form one sp3 orbital. Watch how I count the sigma bonds around this carbon. S, sp1, sp2, sp3. I'll do that again. S, sp1, sp2, sp3. So that is the geometry bond angle and, hybrid is, and orbital hybridization of carbon A. Let's do the same thing for carbon B. Now, carbon B, let's put some hydrogens on carbon B. Now, carbon B, it also, let's draw some hydrogens. This carbon is also bonded four times. All of its bonds are sigma bonds. Let's count the hybridization. S, sp1, sp2, sp3. It is also sp3. Therefore, it is tetrahedral. And it also has about a 109 degree bond angle. Carbons A and B are identical in their bond angle, molecular geometry, and hybridization. When you have hydrogens on there, you can see the pucker and the twist that can occur in this cyclohexene. Finally, atom C or carbon C. Let's draw the hydrogen on there. It has a different hybridization and a different bond angle and a different geometry. It is bonded to three different things. Excuse me, this carbon is bonded four times, but only bonded to three different things. There are one, two, three sigma bonds, and one pi bond. Let's do the counting of the hybridization. It is S, SP1, SP2. So this is an sp2 hybridized carbon. 
I counted the sigma bonds. Let me count that again. I'll start somewhere different. S, sp1, sp2. sp2, hybridized carbon, is trigonal planar. On this model, you can see, just focusing on this carbon, that it is three things around it. It's a planar type geometry. When, there, when three things are around it and it's a planar type geometry, the bond angles are about 120 degrees. Thank you.